You guys, carrier OEM parts are ridiculously overpriced. More specifically, their motors. Let me show you something. This fan motor here, condenser fan motor. A thousand dollars. Over a thousand dollars after tax. Where do they get off? I mean, I don't think it's just my distributor. They're, I mean, they're gonna make a markup on the parts, but it's just ridiculous. Their units are overpriced and their parts are way overpriced. I don't know, I don't know where that, that's a main, one of the main reasons we stopped being a carrier dealer because their stuff is just so overpriced. It's great equipment. I love carrier equipment. It's some of my favorite stuff, mainly because I, that's what I was trained on and what I was you know, brought up on working on. But uh, something's gotta give, man. Their stuff is just way too overpriced. I'm surprised they can even stay. They're, ba they're pretty much just in business by name alone now. Here is the motor we're gonna be changing out. This is one of the new or the older Infinities before they started doing the um, variable speed compressor. So it's got a two speed compressor, but that's it. But it's an ECM condenser motor, so we're gonna get that baby changed out. So we got a black, a brown, a blue, a yellow, and a ground. All right, that should be all of them. We'll leave it right up here like this so we can work on it. It's a really short shaft. We should be able to break this free and then just work it off. Set that off to the side. <clears throat> Flip it back over. We'll pull two off for now. And we'll flip it back over. Just loosen, loosen. Put a hand on it. This is what a thousand dollars worth of motor looks like. <laughs>
guys in the action here. All right, our black wire went to the bottom of the contactor. Reference the schematic for the other ones. Yellow went to PWM1, blue to PWM2. Oh, I should have known that. They make the connectors to fit where they go. And that means our brown wire will go to the top of the contactor. Good. All right, that's all of them. I'm gonna have to tidy up these wires. We should be good. All right, I think I got everything tidied up the best I can anyway. Um, I think we're good. We'll go ahead and restore power. So we got seven flashes, which is probably its old error code. Uh -huh. 71 low stage thermal cutout, yeah. That's when the motor failed. So we will reset it. go into the thermostat and clear anything off and try to start it. All right, there we go. It shifted into second stage immediately. I like these old two-stage units before they got to the rotary compressors, variable speed and all that. I like these old two-stage compressors. The real old ones had two contactors. This one just, um, these two stage ones uh, send a low voltage signal to a separate terminal on the compressor to send it into the two second stage. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this one. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.